So I'm now going to demonstrate the output test mode um, used to test the injectors on the Megasquirt ECU. My ignition is on. I am using the original 600RR fuel rail to test mount the injectors in for testing and top of a graduated cylinder to collect the fuel with extended wiring out from the loom of the bike and extended piping out to the fuel rail. So coming to the laptop, I'm in output test mode at the moment. I want to set my test mode to injectors. I'm going to keep my output interval in at about 200 milliseconds. That's the interval between each pulse on the testing injectors. That'll allow it to be heard quite easily and seen quite easily on the video. I want to test injector channel 1. I'm going to be running semi-sequentially injection, timed injection. Um, so I have cylinders 1 and 4 and cylinders 2 and 3 on two separate banks. This would injector 1 corresponds to cylinders 1 and 4. I'll go for quite a low pulse width for 5 milliseconds just to demonstrate and laying the camera in front I will now count 500 of these and there you see the injector firing 5 millisecond pulses at 200 millisecond intervals Stop that. I actually didn't have the fuel pump running there. So if we turn on the fuel pump, I will now increase to maybe 20 millisecond pulses at 200 millisecond intervals, and again we'll count 500 of them. And now the pulses are much more obvious. Now obviously with a 200 millisecond interval, that's quite a slow rate. So I should demonstrate something a bit more realistic. So switching off the output, I will now change my output interval to 5 milliseconds and I will change my pulse width also to 5 milliseconds. That's the injector running at 50% duty cycle. And again we count, I'll count 1000 of these, they'll happen quite quickly. And now you see it actually looks like almost a steady stream of fuel. If I was to increase that, it. So I was to increase that to 20 millisecond interval and 20 millisecond pulse width. And again, now this time I will run 500 intervals. And again, almost looks like a stream. And that's the output test mode demonstrated. To switch off the injectors and switch off the fuel pump. All I do now is I power off the bike and that powers off the injectors.